The chasm. I've deliberately avoided this area since this place had some dual element stuff which could potentially stop my progress into the no. actual area below. But since there's a limited time event in the chasm, it's now to the best of my interest to go through the chasm and get a limited event primal gems. If you want to farm for primal gems, you want to farm from a higher level area. Let me explain. In this game, the chest distribution is classified into two types. Low level areas and high level areas. Low level areas is basically most of Teyvat. When you open the chest in these areas, they don't give a lot of primal gems. Common, exquisite, precious, and luxurious chest give 0, 2, 5, 10 primal gems respectively. So you could be opening thousands of chests in Mondstadt and Lyra, but you probably still get only around 2,000 primal gems. Since half of the chest is a common chest and they don't give any primal gems. So that's low level areas. It sounds pretty depressing, but the chasm is a high level area. High level areas differ from low level areas since the chest give more primal gems. In high level areas, common, exquisite, precious, and luxurious chest can provide 2, 5, 10, and 10 primal gems respectively. So even though the area itself is smaller, rest assured that you are getting more primal gems from the effort that you're putting in. I guess it's a way for the game to compensate the players for a smaller area because you know, the area and more start up big and then you have a new release on the chasm or the dragon spine or ankle me or whatever that place is <laughs> yeah so the areas may be smaller but you're getting more primal gems so you are being compensated for all that and so now with the limited time event present it is now a good time to do this area now i'm not too sure exactly where the joe constructs is going to stop me from doing the chasm but at least these um tower things you do it by just slashing the rock nearby with a claymore and then uh, you know just hit the stuff that's not what i I'm worried about what i'm worried about is i could be missing something from the chasm and it will just straight out debate me like just stop me from progressing which that will be a problem but i think for now we are fine you just need to unlock the actual chasm for us to progress all right so that's the last one done wait no hang on there's still one more or right, maybe it will just tell us to do the last one once we talk to the lady a good way for the game to ensure that this is the last bedrock key that everyone will do okay so that is the chasm unlocked i wonder if you can unlock the chasm without the quest i don't think so because you need the lumen stone too i could be wrong this definitely needs a little bit of experimentation with another account or something all right first time in the chasm i'm not too sure what's going to happen here but whatever comes we'll just have to deal with it all right so i'm just going to equip the lumen stone thingy and it says here level two okay so i just need to upgrade this to level two and we should be good to go all right so we can now upgrade this thing to a higher level we want it to be at least level two to do the event but i do recall different parts of the event will require a higher higher level of this thing so level two is not gonna be enough hey look at that north landed billet troll all right yeah we really need to get a lumen stone now so once again we'll be using the teva interactive map go to the top left corner to change the map once we have the map ready we can enable the waypoints and a lumen spa i'll be tracking my lumen spa progress here it will be following a chest guide to collect the chest in the chasm the link to these resources will be available in the description so what i'm going to do now is to collect the lumen spa that is available with in my area i'm not going to focus too much on the top side of the chasm i will deal with that later so that's what i'm going to do and once i'm done i'll be right back one hour later all right so i'm back i've collected some of the stones and it's time for an upgrade oh wow completely forgot about the lumen stone ore but i guess the only thing i could do now is to actually do the chasm quest and we want to focus on getting the lumen stone gadget up because it's really difficult to explore the chasm with only like one bar of this um light charge thingy it's not something you want to deal with for a long time because um, otherwise you're just going to whoop yourself but unfortunately the map is designed in such a way so only bits of the area is explored at the time so you have to go to the quest do the upgrade i mean if you think about it that's what you're supposed to do but from a uh, speed playing perspective i suppose it's not really tilted to our favor i say speed playing because i don't feel like i'm speed running so yeah i'm just gonna call it speed playing because um that kind of makes sense you know we are kind of speed playing the game but not literally running i guess you see what i mean by this the bar drops down so fast three bars is not enough oh please move 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 oh my god why this is why you want the lumen stone to be up more so you have more time to react to these type of uh yes okay so we've got the lumen stone or let's upgrade the thing okay so we've got two free fates uh let's just get it up to level three since we can do it okay so we've got 233 primal gems enough for one wish let's see what it gives of course and let's see what these two wishes can grant no 
No. Okay, well, at least we can do the event. So I've got what I've came for. Wait. Complete any of the objectives to finish the challenge. Any. So you just need to do one of the two. Okay, well, that makes it a lot easier because I don't think I'll be able to defeat all of the opponents in the allocated time. And it actually lets you complete the challenge. Okay, you know what? This isn't bad. This is. Bad. I thought for a second I was going to miss the DPS check and I might need to like resort to co op. Oh my god. No, no, no. Oh, there's so many of these dark mods. I also noticed that during the lower levels, the cooldown for using this two is four seconds instead of two so it makes clearing the mod much slower and you have to recharge it sooner as well it just feels more clunky to play but i'm pretty sure that's the you know the intended feature from this two they want you to explore the chasm and stuff i might need to have a better read on what each level does because i want to reach a level where the cooldown is at least reduced to two seconds because otherwise progressing through this event is going to be a pain in the ass I'm kind of cutting it close here. Oh, please, just end this already. Oh, God. Okay, we were able to finish this, but it was close. It got pretty close. With this close call, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Actually, can I even continue the event? It's not going to let me. I'm just going to collect the Primal Gems and continue the event later. Okay, I guess we just need to go back to Lumenstone Farming then. Just do the quest, get more of the chasm unlocked, and just continue the progress. I do recall vaguely at level 6, you will be able to get rid of the level 2 Dark Mark. Uh, the, the black mud there's like a level 2 version of it so we need to at least get that up to level 6 bare minimum and then uh yeah we'll see so I've decided to go to the Genshin Impact Wiki to see which levels from the Lumen Spa gadget will help in my journey within the chasm. And through the power of reading. Yes, wow, me actually reading something. <laughs> anyway, here's my conclusion of which levels matter. Level 5 will decrease the cooldown of the gadget to 2 seconds, and level 6 will allow the destruction of the higher level Dark Mud. So we want to reach level 6 in order to access the required content in the chasm, and then afterwards we could get it up to level 8, which will provide 2 Intervine Fates for Ito's banner, and level Level 9 will grant access to the billet trove, which is another way of saying another claymore billet. Getting this claymore billet is essential since once we have Ito, we will require two sets of the white blinds, which this claymore billet will allow me to get that. Oh my god, finally. That took way too long. That was just painful gameplay. Have I mentioned having four bars of these is just completely unacceptable? And just for the record, I am doing these broad quests at the same time as well. Uh, not actively, but if it's like on the way, you know, you can do it. Just so I can get the required primal gems to get Ito. Hello, Miss Father's Lady. Just going to go through a quick beat up session. Nothing personal though. All of this in the name of future Ito. Well, at least I hope I'll be able to get him before the banner ends. Otherwise, I'll be utilizing a certain item called the credit card. That's only as a last resort though. I don't think you'll get to that point. At least hopefully not. And just to set the record straight, I am keeping the star glitter unless I absolutely need it. So basically, maybe on the last day of the banner, if I still don't have Ito, I will use the star glitter then. The main reason why I want to keep the star glitter is because, you know, in the later months, a Razor constellation could pop up. A Noel constellation would be really useful as well. So if Noel is there, I definitely would want to have it. And the weapons would be really useful. But if it comes to that stage, we could also just buy a black lift or royal great sword for a generally good weapon just want to keep the options open if i'm not that desperate i'll keep it and yes i'm saying that i'm not desperate despite me literally turning the chasm inside out <laughs> oh no i don't have chong yu in my pot oh my god I, I'm, I'm screwed i am so screwed no you stupid idiot <laughs> they're just roasting sai as she's dying oh no oh boy this is some fun gameplay one minute 37 seconds later Bro, finally, that was one of the more painful fights I had to deal with. And it's all because I forgot Chong Yu. Okay, so let's see how high I can get my gadget. Okay, so we have 19, so that's enough for level 5. Okay, so that's a considerable improvement since now we've got the 2 second cooldown on the 2. For the future levels, I guess I'll just have to sort it out once I've completed the chasm request. Bro, you can tell the difference with the 7 light bars now. It's not even, it's like light ending. You have extra time to react. But it's just that, um, this time I just, <laughs> but it's just that I was too lazy to revive Sayu, so I just made my life harder for no apparent reason. And I still haven't had Chou Yu. I still haven't learned my lesson. Or, okay, I was able to finish this fight but we really just need to not be a dumbass okay so we are at inazuma just to get sayu back up and i better change to chong yung now because otherwise if there's another hydro abyss mage or an electro abyss lector yeah um <laughs> it's just, just not a good sight bro the only reason why i have beto in the team rather than chong yung is just that because i want
want the level 10 friendship name card and I just forgot to change it. Also, her play style is pretty good with the E. If you play Beidou, every time you have that successful E, it just flexes at how good you are at a game. <laughs> Watch me get cancelled. But you know what? It's fine. If I get cancelled, means more comments. And more comments means more engagement. And more engagement equals more views. <laughs> okay, guys. So this is All right, that's enough of being around. Let's not even talk about the animation recycling for a second. And let's just focus on how Eater is actually able to bring down this thing with a Dao Sword. I'm sure there is an explanation as of why the Traveler uses the Dao Sword during his travels. But I do not have the mental capacity to deal with this. Which is also another way of saying I'm too dumb to deal with this. I'm so glad none of my characters require this thing because this fight is just so dumb to deal with. What I mean by my statement is this thing has a 70% physical resistance like all of the other rune guard stuff. It will always have the 70% physical damage reduction and it just makes Razor pretty much useless. I have to rely on Chong Yung's E to deal damage. That's how bad this is. I'm not sure if there's going to be a specific geo resistance but if there is then wow this is completely rigged. I don't think so. Maybe it's like a 10% if I recall correctly. If I'm wrong please correct me in the comment section Below. I do actually read the comments by the way. Okay, so that's the Chasm World quest complete. I guess let's just do some wishes before I continue. Okay, so 53 on the limited banner and 58 on the standard event banner. Okay, let's just do the standard banner first and uh, let's see what we get out of it. Okay, that's fine. And the next one is going to be a four star. Oh, okay, okay. Is this Xingyang? Xingyang, please come home. What is this weapon? All right, that's fine though. Our main course is the Ito banner. Can I get Ito from this? You know, it's actually pretty normal to get a 3 star, but sometimes when you just press the single wishes and every single time you hit the blue, it kind of just makes you feel bad. At least on the Claymore's account, I am officially poor. If you know, you know. If you don't know, well, hey! May I interest you to a video of mine? Yes, plugging my own videos in my own channel. 10 out of 10 idea. And that's the Chasm event complete. And this is all of the rewards from this event. And a battle pass XP as well. And I guess the only thing left is to make some wishes. Will I finally get Ito? I guess not. So we need a bit more primal gems for another wish. Let's just have a look at the achievements. And we were able to scrape out another wish here. So let's go. Bruh. Ah yes, I forgot about this barrier. So this area is kind of locked because we don't have the relevant story quest. But I'm pretty sure there's going to be a way to glitch into this. Okay, so can I glitch in from here? Okay, I guess not. What about here? Alright, okay, guess not as well. Oh wow, they patched it pretty well. Well, there is another way to glitch into this area, but that's the last resort. There's a Lumen Stone in there, which will prevent me from hitting level 10 on the gadget. But level 10 only gives a name card, so there really is a reason for me to glitch in there. There are, however, some really valuable chests involving killing nine of the Kanria guards. But I'll put this off until they ready end. Once I get everything else sorted. Because breaking through this barrier might take a while. And I'm not sure if it's actually possible or not. Alright, enough of the memes. Time to focus up. Alright, is this possible? Okay, so I can't make it directly, but okay, that works too. I can just use the wing catcher. Alright, big braining it, but as you can see, the barrier extends to the bottom of the area as well. So you can't go in from the bottom. I'm out of options for this area. So I'll come back to here later. So basically at this stage, I was running around collecting lumen stones while completing some of the world quests in the chasm. And once I was done, it was time to see my progress within the chasm. Okay, it should get me to level 9. I'm still missing a few of the lumen stones, so let's talk about it. But first, it's time to use the free intermine wishes. Alright, are we finally going to get Ito here? Oh, that sucks. Okay, so that's enough for one more wish. All right, um, I will do the Ascension Domain some other time. And yeah, enough for one more wish. And we get a purple. What do we get? Oh my god. I am so tempted to use the Star Glitter now. But tomorrow, the Stardust Shop will exchange. So I think it's just better to be patient for now. After taking a break, I went back to the chasm to start collecting chests within the area. To my surprise, these geo pillars did not require a geo construct to complete. However, these platforms do. Sayu's Q does not work and there were no enemies nearby. Therefore, I had to skip chests involving these buttons. The balloon plants were pretty straightforward as the balloons were close enough for our characters to hit. And after collecting various items, 
items which contributed to different rogue quests and not face off to this particular puzzle or mini game or whatever you call it. Okay, so that's first chest done. Let's try that again. So we need to clear out the cabbages. So cabbage equals there's a bomb next to it and the iron chunk means that there's two. We should try this one. <laughs> so dumb. Okay, so let's try this again. So if there's nothing means there's no bombs nearby. Iron ore here means those two are dangerous. Okay, and that's a cabbage. So this should be safe. Well, I guess that's it then. Um, I thought for sure I was going to have to spend multiple days on this, but I completely forgot about this. Five four-star artifacts? Holy crap. Okay, this set isn't that bad, but the substats isn't what I really want. At least if it's all defense, we could work on the ultimate no will shield build. But yeah, nah, HP is just not gonna cut it. So I've done a few rogue quests. Uh, you know what, let's go for it. Oh my god, all oh, that broke quest for that one blue sh The next morning. Good morning. It's July now, so it's time for the Stardust Exchange. We are on 63 on the Ito banner and 60 on the Standard banner. And we're just gonna go for it. So this is wish 1, wish 2, wish 3, wish 4, wish 5. Please, Xinyang. No, so dumb, bro. Guess I have to actually finish the chest route for the chasm. <sighs> Off we go, bruh. So basically, what I did was to follow the chest route for the chasm. I don't think I spoke a single word during my entire expedition. However, I did scrape out enough primal gems for a few wishes. So here's how it went. This is wish 71, isn't it? <sighs> Alright, wish 72. Oh please, give me a Chongyu constellation. Oh my god! The C4! C4 Goro! Stop! How of us? You're watching me, aren't you? Like, what the f is this? Stop giving me Goro Constellation! Actually, stop! I'm actually gonna go insane at this stage. I swear to god, if it's another Goro Constellation. Spending hours of my life just to get a Goro Constellation. Like, normally Goro would be so good with Ito, but no, no. Not in this challenge, bro. Oh my god, that's all of the chest in the chasm. And I barely scraped enough for 74 PD. Alright, I get it. I get it. You want me to get it at a soft PD, ain't it? We're going to somehow struggle for the soft PD, and we're gonna hit Ito on the soft PD. I can't believe I'm actually doing this glitching into the nameless ruins because i'm out of options yeah so when i mean the last resort this is the last resort i'm trying to glitch out of the map and go from the top because i believe that sphere only covers the bottom section so once you're outside of the map like there's just no spear outside of the map that's what i'm trying to say i'm currently checking this spot here i believe last time this spot was available oh my god did they patch it i think they patched it because the rock is not there anymore all right that's fine it's not the end of the world there are other places to glitch out of the map i just need one that is not patched the way you want to try to glitch out of the map is to try to find some obscure high places or just some random ass crevice that sayu could fit into because you know we've got sayu and all oh wow they added a barrier oh all right i see um let's hop to sayu i think sayu can bypass this all right yeah come on the squeeze in that bruh really wow that <laughs> wow that didn't take very really long at all okay so now we just need to check if my hypothesis is correct does the sphere extend to the top of the map gotta love it when the textures is just completely scuffed i mean you're not really supposed to be seeing this but still now that i've seen it it's time to expose the chasm for its i'm just screwing around by the way i'm not actually serious well who would have thought my hypothesis was correct like if you think from it from the gaming perspective it makes no sense for that sphere to extend over the top no one in their right mind would think people are gonna casually glitch up here and go in this way. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a teleporter just in case things go wrong. All right, I'm in. There's a teleporter and now I've officially glitched into the Nameless Roots without completing the relevant story quest. Okay, so that's the final Lumen Spa that I was unable to get. That will get me to level 10. This is going to submit the orbs as well and access these beautiful chests. Everything else I could just deal with it some other time since I can just come back here whenever I want. Just go. Just go for it. Please. Orange! What is this? <laughs> That's not orange! You mother f You mother f <laughs> What the f this bro man? <laughs> bro, oh my god! So dumb! This game, bro! 
All right, that should be enough. This is it, man. I, I, I don't know what to say. This 76. What's <laughs> to say that? If this fails, this means that now I, I have to go into Inner Circle. I don't have a choice. You motherfucker. Okay, okay, that's done. That's done. Bro, <laughs> how many quests do I have? What is this? What the f is this? Oh my god. We got three Archon quests, six story quests, six, six. Oh, dude, my brain. Is this the end? Please. If this is Goro, man, I am. I'll take it. You know, I, it's not what I want. It's not Ito, but I'll take it. Come on, next wish. It has to be. It has to be. Give me my 60 primal gems. <laughs> give me my 60 primal gems, dude. Give me my 60 primal gems. Just give me Ito already. Give me Ito. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Finally. Finally. I did so much. So much pain, so much pain. Screwing my game over for Arataki Ito. Finally, they're done, they're done, they're done, they're done. Nope, I'm done, goodbye.